party puts muscle mutt, ding dong, rhubarb, spark plug, and studs. Anybody doing a wrong thing better watch out, these caps is rough. Yeah, anytime there's a rumble out west, who do you call? You call the best, cause everyone knows it's simple as that. The best in the west is the Howl Cats. Yeah, anytime there's a rumble out west, who do you call? You call the best, cause everyone knows it's simple as that. The best in the west is the Hound Cats. Oh boy, oh boy, the Penny Arcade! We didn't drive all the way to San Francisco to play games, Muscle Mutt. We came here to learn about our next mission. Okay, everybody out. Look at the games and things. Yeah. How are we ever going to find the Chief's message? Simple, Rhubarb. We'll ask the fortune teller. That's a great idea, Stud. Save the adulation, Ding, and lend me a penny. The great wonder knows all, sees all, and tells all. And I see your next mission in that movie viewer over there. Sure. This viewer isn't big enough for us all to watch. I can fix that with this. My five-for-one penny movie peeker. I was just going to suggest that. Okay, Muscle Mutt, start the movie. Right, Stutz. Good afternoon, Houndcats. This is your chief. The city of San Francisco is being threatened by a giant tidal wave unless the San Francisco Mint turns over the plates for making $10,000 bills. How can anybody whip up a tidal wave? The tidal wave is whipped up by a fantastic tidal wave-making apparatus on this vessel, skippered by Captain Blight, the international scourge of the seven seas. Your mission is to locate and discombobulate the tidal wave-making machine and capture Blight and his crew in 24 hours. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Five. Five seconds? What are we waiting for? <laughs> hey, where's the cartoon? Four. We'll be safe behind spark plug. <laughs> Don't look now, but our cover just took cover. Forget spark plug. What happened to Muscle Mutt? He's still inside. Hurry, we gotta get him. Before it's... Great. That picture really ended with a bang. Muscle Mutt, are you all right? Sure, I'm all right. See? <laughs> well, Stutz, have you figured out where Blight is hiding out? Yes and no, Rhubarb. Yes, because he operates a boat, he must be somewhere along the waterfront. No, because I don't know where on the waterfront. So, how are we going to find out? Simple. He's going to tell us. Great idea, Stutz. Boy, that is simple. Let's go get... Uh, I don't get it. Me either, but then I never do. All right, listen and learn. One. We spread the word that the Barbary Bunch, a rival gang, is threatening the city with a water spout making apparatus for the $5,000 plates from the Mint. Who is the Barbary Bunch gang? Us. Two, when Blight hears about his cut rate competition, he'll try to put us out of business. Three, we lure Blight out to sea and into our trap. Then we put him and his crew out of business. And discombobulate his title-making gizmo. As simple as ABC, fellas. Now all we have to do is do it. No one will ever find us in this old barge, Captain. <laughs> Hi, Sharky. A perfect hideout for my tidal wave-making vessel. Now it's time we make a reminder call to the mayor. 
Yes, Captain Blight. I realize I only have a few hours left, but it is impossible to get those $10,000 plates from the mint until tomorrow. That be your problem, Mayor. Either I get the plates, or you get the final wave. Well, I'll try. Oh, pardon me. I have another call. Well, who is it? The Barbary Bunch. And you want what? Or you'll do what? The $5,000 plates? Or I'll wipe out the town with a giant water spout. Well, did you say $5,000 plates? Uh, one moment, please. Captain Blight, I just had a lower offer not to wipe out my town. 5000 All right, I'll take the 1000s and not a plate less. 500 uh, Do I hear 100 100 uh, I don't. Well, look, why don't you two figure it out and let me know? I don't know who you are, but stay out of my business. Sorry, pal. Your business is my business. It appears we have a standoff. Let's talk it over. All right. Your place or mine? Neutral territory. The Half Moon Cafe. The Half Moon Cafe. I'll be there. Before we meet Captain Blight, we put Phase 2 into operation. What's Phase 2, Stutz? Movie time. Hey, great. We're going to a movie. We're not going to a movie. We're going to make a movie. Quiet on the set! You sure this will work, Rhubarb? A cinch, but Look, this is what it will look like on film. The water spout will spin across the ocean and whoosh! Just miss the town. All right, everybody set? The water spout maker's ready to spout. Anytime you are, Stats. All set. Okay. Let's roll them. Camera, action. Water spout newsreel, take one. <laughs> Got it, Sputch. Okay, buddy, cut the water spout. Make a movie. Yeah, I sure hope it convinces Captain Blight. Well, it sure convinced me. <laughs> Remember, I'm the tough Bobbery Bunch leader and you're my bodyguard. So don't slip up, Ding. You know me, Stud. Yeah, what worries me. So you be the Barbary Bunch, eh? And you don't look so tough to me. Oh, yeah? We don't have to look tough. Our water spout machine is all the muscle we need. If you don't believe us, just feel our clothes. We're all wet. Talk's cheap. I'd have to see it to believe it. You will, on the newsreel at your corner Nickelodeon theater. Let's go. I haven't seen a good comedy in years. And if it is... You won't be the one laughing. I can't see anything with that ridiculous looking hat in my face. Please! And if you don't like it, why don't you leave? Knock it off, lady. Oops! Sorry, Stutz. Oh, uh, sir. Your boss is really tough with women. One more crack like that, and I won't share my popcorn. <laughs> Me, that. Before you ruin the whole thing, uh, movie. Come on, start the picture. That's the signal. Music, maestro. I thought you'd never rest. <laughs> News of the day. In case you can't read the titles, I'll do it for you. 
giant water spout appears from nowhere and just misses coastal town. It's our baby. That, it sure looks real. Authorities are positive this is the work of the notorious Barbary Bunch. Somehow they created this giant water spout with the most powerful weapon in the world. I've seen enough. All right, let's go. I must admit I'm impressed. Huh? So what's the deal? 50-50. It's a deal. Let's go, Ding. Where can I contact you? At our secret hideout. Where? Sorry, it's a secret. It is? And how come the waitress at the half moon know? Not yet. No one's supposed to know she knows. So the waitress knows their secret hideout. You're really going to split the ransom 50-50, Captain? Hi, Sharky. 50 for me and 50 for <laughs> me. Well, I get it. We find out where their hideout is from the waitress <laughs> and pay him a little friendly visit. And that'll be the end of the Barbary Bunch. Oh, no, they won't. <laughs> and as soon as I get over this fizzy spell, I'm going to tell. <laughs> You mean there's more to our simple ABC plan? Yes, the D, E, and F, which is simple as A, B, C. <laughs> D, Huddy Puss will disguise himself as the waitress at the Half Moon Cafe. Accidentally, he will tell the location of our secret hideout. Where is that, Stutz? Right here. However, when he comes to do us in, we'll be out. Hey, great! But how will he find us? Or us him? E. This map will show them the exact location of our water spout machine and us. Where's that, Stutz? Here, on this trick island. Naturally, Blight will bring his vessel out to wipe us out with a tidal wave. And that's when we get him. But if he gets us first? He can't get what he can't see, Ding. He'll be fogged in. Thanks to Step F, Rhubarb's fog makers. Then we just capture Blight and his crew. Show him your working model, Rube. It's sensational. You see, when Blight's boat hits the tripwater, the dry ice drops down into the water. Presto, fog. I, uh, you mean like this? But it really does work. Who said that? Waitress. What'll it be, Captain Bright? I mean, Blight. Information. Is that on the menu? Where's the Barbary Bunch's secret hideout? I'll tell you a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> Nobody could be that dumb. I'll check her out with the bartender. Oh, no, I, I mean, I I'll bring him to you. <laughs> Me and my overacting, this has to work. Bartender. Y yeah? What about that waitress? Good kid, but dumb. She, she she forgot the secret hideout of the Barbary Bunch is, is at the Bayshore Hotel. Oh, that dumb hay. Ah, this calls for a celebration. Hey, waitress! I'll get her. <laughs> uh, your order? I changed my mind. Where's the bartender? I'll I'll get him. <laughs> what be the hotel's address? Ace and Main. I could have sworn he had dark hair. Never mind. Round up the crew. We're going to pay the Barbary Bunch a first and final visit. Hmm. Sheet out window. Secret map to hide out. Room deserted. We did a beautiful job, fellas. Yep, everything's set. You hear anything, Ding? Yes, yeah, Stutz. The door is opening. They're gone. Yeah, they went that way. Clever. But maybe they left a clue. I see one, Captain. Look, it's a secret map to their secret hideout. They've taken the bait. <laughs> now we have them. Not quite. This map doesn't show the location of their hideout. Oh, no. 
now. We forgot to mark the spot where our trap is set. Simmer down, Spot. I can take care of that with my hand-controlled hand writer. Exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> what be that? You must be feeling things. Look, Captain. There's the X that marks the spot of their secret location. Hmm. Between that waitress and this map, I'm beginning to think I need glasses. Now we have them, Captain. Aye, Sharky. Round up the crew. So far, everything's working like clockwork, Stud. Yeah. Now all we gotta do is load this fog maker in the boat and meet Reuben Putty at Pony Island. I'll load the crate. Hmm. You think you can handle it, Muscle Mutt? Sure, I'm strong as a horse and twice as smart. <laughs> what's keeping Muscle Mutt? I thought he was right behind us. Yikes! That's what's keeping Muscle Mutt. Oh, no. If he drops that crate, there goes the plan. Quick, grab that fishing net. Fishing net? I thought we were going to rescue Muscle Mutt. We are. Come on. Sorry, Stuck. So am I. Hang <laughs> on, Muscle Mutt. Yeah, we'll catch you. Whoa! Uh oh. Looks like we muff must. That's no trouble at all. No trouble? At all. <laughs> Prepare to get underway. Now I'll give the Barbary bunch a surprise they'll never forget. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Full speed ahead. To the island. Right on schedule. Cut the engine, ding. Right, Stud. A L L S E T. Ready. Now, Muscle Mutt. Over it goes! Makers coming up. And so is Blight. Let's go. Ah, there be the island. Ready the tidal wave maker for action. Aye, aye, Captain. They'll never know what hit them. <laughs> Never seen the fog come up so fast, Captain. Yeah, but not fast enough. The island is directly ahead. Turn about full and activate the tidal wave maker. Aye, Captain. Now they'll find out what happens to anybody who crosses Captain Blight. <laughs> Now that Blight took our bait, hook, line, and sinker, he's sunk. What now, Skipper? Set a straight course to jail. <laughs> now that Blight and his crew are behind bars, I want to officially thank you, Houndcats, for saving San Francisco. Well, think nothing of it, Your Honor. We're just doing our job. There's one more thing. Somebody named the Chief asked me to give you this and that. Hey, Ding, open it up. Boy, if it's from the Chief, it must be something. Hey, it's us! <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
They recognize us anywhere. Yes, so will everybody else as heroes. And listen to this, guys. It's from the chief. Congratulations, Houndcats. This statue of you has been erected to long remind the world of your heroism. Yay! 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 Good, good. Oh, boy, we're famous. P.S. This statue will self-destruct in five seconds. Five seconds? Let's evacuate. <laughs> oh, well, being famous for five seconds is better than not being famous at all. Personally, I can't see that, Rhubarb. Uh, personally, I can't see anything with my face covered in this fame. 